Okay, this is a Lesson 8 tutorial. I'm using Microsoft Word to do my work. It's about making predictions and inferences. A prediction is um, to guess what's going to happen in the future. Pre means before. And diction means to say. So it means to say what's going to happen before. Inference means to guess. So uh, both of these uh, examples that you see here are about um, predictions that actually really did happen. So these predictions were about uh, 10 years old, a d decade ago, um, and it actually did come true. Um, the time was a little bit off, but you know what? It happens every so often. So it says, within the next 50 years, the Western world will face a major plague that will kill thousands of people. Well, th this that is with the 1,000 if you change this to, like, let's say, a decade, and that was uh, COVID. Why? Me medical researchers think we're not spending enough money on new medicine research. And that's true. We don't spend enough money on med medicine research. We do spend some, and there's lots that takes place in universities, but there's still a long way to go. Um, Drug resistant strains uh, are growing. And remember SARS and MERS uh, outbreaks of diseases shown that uh, they can travel around the globe very quickly. So your job is to create a prediction. And you are going to use three things that are true now. So if you have three things that are happening now, that can show that your prediction will come true. Uh, by 2030, almost all computers will be voice controlled. And why is that true? Because right now you can Google things with your voice. That's true. Just some people just prefer to type away. Um, you can uh, make voice recognition technology uh, recognize different voices. If you've ever had Amazon, uh, what's it called? Um, Alexa or the Google one that's also a possibility um, it, it can recognize each person's voice in the household uh, it's also getting cheaper and cheaper it used to cost a lot of money but now it's it just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper you can get Alexa used for like $20 uh, like new for like $40 so you're gonna make three predictions Think of three things that are going to happen. One of them, my recommendation would be about your, your own life. So that'll be, in my opinion, an easier one. For example, you might say, uh, so you're going to make an example about your life. Make sure that you put your name, my name, class name. So let's just say it's Matthew Nash, that's, and then the teacher's name. Mr. Nash, and then the date, September, so I'm not going to suggest it for me, 34, oh, 24, 20, 22, can you believe it, that's amazing, and then the class name, ENG 4C, and this is lesson eight. Put that right in the middle. Enter, enter. Okay. Then we are going to start. So, oops. So, prediction one. In 10 years, I will become a, well, I'm going to be even quicker. I'm going to say in five years, I will become a principal, say a vice principal 
at a high school. And why do I think that's true? Um, need three reasons. One, I'm taking a course for three piece. Two, I um, am interested in administration. And three, uh, I have a mentor who is a principal. So, if you noticed, I have three reasons and one prediction. So I've got my prediction, bold. I've got my three reasons, bold. So these are things that are true now. These are things that will be true, my prediction. So that one's about me, but you're going to do more than that. You're going to do prediction number two. What's your next prediction? Lots of different choices. Maybe it's about travel or medicine or space and technology. You know what I just heard? I heard that there was going to be travel, uh, electric helicopters. Not sure how to spell that. There we go. It's a prediction one. Electric helicopters. Uh, will be used for people in cities in 10 years. I say electric helicopter taxis used for people in cities in 10 years. Okay, so that's prediction two. Need my reasons. Why do I think this is true? Uh, I remember listening to it at CBC Electric Helicopters. Air, electric air taxis. There we go. Isn't that cool? Wow. So, can you even show that? Electric helicopters are being designed Companies to ship people and and goods. Uh, why electric um, transportation is going to be very is more and more common with cars. Electric cars, right? If electric people can do with electric cars, why not do with electric helicopters? Um, finally, governments uh, need to stop climate change and people want to move quickly. Right? Electric 
helicopters solve both issues. So that's my guess. Uh, it's going to look like that. And then you're going to do one more. If you're not sure, and you're like, I just don't know what's going to happen, you can look at something like BBC Future. BBC Future. So you can use CBC or BBC Future. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, falling space debris, the race to save India's fruit trees, dementia, diamonds, uh, future planet, and then we can get suggestions. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. This is about called fast fashion. So maybe this might like this is this is a problem, right? Um, companies will sell recycled clothing, recycled and sustainable clothing in the next decade due to um, due to pressure to solve the wardrobe Problem. Oops. Then you give the three reasons. What's happening right now? Why is that? A, why is that true? Okay. I hope that was helpful. You might also have an idea for medicine. You might have something that's going to happen in medicine, or something that's going to happen in space, or technology, or Earth's future. Remember, we have climate change problems. We have pollution problems. The economy, is there going to be a revolution? Is capitalism going to change to socialism? Are politics going to change? Are we going to have more um, Donald Trumps everywhere or less Donald Trumps? Uh, what about your career? Will your careers change? Try to find sources so that we know what is true. Um, yeah, we'll... You know, vaccinations become uh, part of the traveling process or the passport process. These are all things that will likely change. Um, going to the moon, uh, traveling to space, is that something that will happen? Think of things that are changing and make predictions or inferences. And if you're having any trouble, please let me know and I will do my best Ciao. Thank you very much and have a great day.